In this video, I'll talk you through the final stages of Elizabeth's exploratory literature review on interfaith dialogue. Stage 5 was to rewrite the literature review, and Elizabeth did this in a similar way as I presented to you in the video on stage 2 of her process. She exported the themes by generating outputs on the code sets that contained the categorized codes. To do this, she activated the relevant code set, I'll take this one here, and all the documents in the document system. This retrieves all the coded segments for each of the categorized codes within that set in the Retrieve Segments window. She then outputted these coded segments to a Microsoft Word file, choosing to include memos, comments, and other codes assigned to each segment for the activated codes. The report includes all the codes for the theme she had activated. For each coded segment, you can see the categorised code it was linked to and the title of the literature resource that it comes from. And remember, Elizabeth had named all her documents in a systematic way, author, date, and the title of the resource itself, which is important when using it for citations for her literature review. Because Elizabeth also used the colour coding system for codes belonging to her themes, she was able to write up each section by looking at the colour that she had used for each theme-based code group, and then find that colour in the physical books that she had also used in her literature review. She again had the output report on one side of the screen, and her file for writing up her literature review on the other. This is similar to what I showed you in the video about stage one of this project. In writing the review, the code definitions were very important because they informed Elizabeth's explanation of the nuances within each theme and category. Therefore, she also exported her code system with the memos that contained the code definitions to refer to whilst writing up the literature review. Here is an example of that output. The exported coded segments for each theme provided an easily accessible list of citations for Elizabeth to add as evidence for her propositions. Stage 6 was an ongoing expansion of the literature review, and during this stage Elizabeth continued to repeat the process discussed in the previous stages. So her literature review was repetitive and iterative in nature, and once she had established her process, she was able to continue the literature review and add resources over time, keeping track of her thinking and enabling her to complete a literature review over, over a period of a couple of years. This completes the steps of Elizabeth's process of using Max QDA to undertake her review, exploring the literature on interfaith dialogue.